Welcome to Family Church. We are a diverse, spirit-filled, life-giving church. Healing hurts, building relationships, and developing leaders. My name is Ashley, and I am so excited that you've connected to our page today. Be sure to grab a notebook, pen, and paper, your phone, however you want to take notes, and get ready for today's message. My name is Joseph. I'm so glad you're here today. I love Christmas. My favorite thing about Christmas is camping out in the living room with my family and telling stories around the fireplace. I pretend like we're outside around the campfire telling our favorite Christmas stories. And boy, do I have a good one for you today. Are you telling the story? I was just about to get started. Hey, don't start without me. I want to hear the story. This isn't just any old regular Christmas campfire story. This is a true story, you see. I'd say it's the greatest of all Christmas campfire stories. Let's begin. Hey, this is my story. Like I was saying, this is a story. about the night Jesus was born. Our story begins out in a field, sort of like what you might expect at a campground. Imagine a big open field with some sheep and shepherds. Hey, I want to be a shepherd.
looked at each other and said, let's get to Bethlehem to see what the angels were telling us about. Racers, get ready. Very sure. Who do you think's gonna win? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Ashley! Hey, you look now! Oh, well, she's shooting herself. said to them. They just couldn't keep quiet. They told everyone they could about this baby. And everyone who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds said to them. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. Once they reached them, they started glorifying and praising God for all the things they'd heard and seen. It was exactly what they had been told by the angel. Even the animals in the barn were excited. They started singing a song. A song? I know, right? That's Don't insane. It. I don't know animals are safe to go. Do you hear it? Yes. Beautiful. Friends, let's show them what you've got. <laughs>
The one we have all been waiting for, the one who brought joy to the world. Can we have everyone stand up and put their hands together as we sing joy to the world this morning? Till it finally ended up right here in this book, the Bible. Our story tonight comes from the book of Luke. And I think I'm right when I say, the, the greatest, greatest campfire story ever told. Yeah. Can we jump up on our feet and give it up for all of our kids and students this morning? They did a phenomenal job. <laughs> Yo, peace. Awesome, awesome. You may go ahead and be seated. So we just got about five more minutes of your time and then we're gonna go ahead and dismiss. So we just saw this great production 
with the angels, the, how cute were the animals? Oh my goodness, they were the cutest thing. And as I'm watching this, I'm like, man, I remember, I don't know if you guys know, her name is Aunt Vicky. My first time ever on stage at a church was wearing a sheep costume right in that corner. Here's the issue, though. I was a little bit taller, and I have long legs, so I just had ash all the way up my legs. I was the ashy sheep in our production. But in this production we just saw, we see that the angel of the Lord, he appears to these shepherds. The Bible says that they were in the fields, minding their own business, doing what they did night after night after night. And then all of a sudden, the angel appears. And that's in our show, that and suddenly, the angel appears. And then we see in verse 11, the angel utters this powerful, powerful sentence. In Luke chapter 2, verse 11, the angel says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And for us, it's like, yeah, that's the Christmas story. Jesus came and the, the angels told the shepherd, what, what, what's so special about that message? But let me put it into context to fully understand what is going on here. I want you to think back to when you were a child on Christmas morning. And if your family's like mine, it was Christmas night at like 11 p.m. You're going downstairs, you're going to open up the gifts, and you've been really, really asking for something for months at this point. I just want this one gift. Just give me this one gift, please, Mom. I want this one gift for me and my brother. It was an Xbox. Please get us an Xbox. And my mom always be like, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see if you get an Xbox. And me and my brother go downstairs, and there's a box that looks about the shape of an Xbox. And we go to open it first, and my mom goes, uh-uh. Open that last. And we're like, I think she wants us to open it last because it's a good gift. And we want this gift so bad, and we get our, our clothes, and we throw it to the side. Thank you. Thank you, Grandma. Thanks for the socks. Can we open this one now? And we go, and we tear it back. And we see the lime green color of an Xbox, and we go, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now for me and my brother, it was a simple Xbox, just two of us sitting in that room, and we were so excited to get this gift of an Xbox. Now imagine that all of creation is waiting for a gift that all of creation is waiting for a savior, that all of creation is waiting for a Messiah, and then this angel appears and says to the shepherds, hey, you know that thing that everybody's been waiting for? Since Abraham, the one who Eve, when uh, God is talking to Eve, he's prophesying what's gonna happen with Jesus Christ. Hey, just so you know, that gift is here. Now naturally, this is going to get them excited because they know the entire lineage leading up to this, all the Jewish tradition leading up to this gift. And in verse 16, it says that they went with haste or they went quickly and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. It says, when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told to them concerning the Messiah. In other words, they're saying, here is the message that the angel gave me. The Messiah is here. And then in verse 18, it says, and all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. They were in a moment of wonder. But then in verse 19, there's this little detail. It says, but Mary... Everybody say, but Mary. but Mary. It says, but Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. Now, when the Bible says that she was pondering them in her heart, it's not like she was questioning the message of the Messiah. A more literal translation of what Mary did here, the Bible saying Mary took that message and she let it captivate her heart. Mary took this message that the Savior is here, and she literally guarded it. She preserved it. She kept it close in her heart. 
And what I love about this story on this Christmas morning is I think it gives us a good idea of what the Christmas message is about. Yes, it is beautiful to see and proclaim the idea that we are doing this all because of Jesus. We even have that song with the weird pronunciation, Jesus is the reason for the season. We got the song, right? They're proclaiming, what, why do we have this thing called Christmas? But what I love about Mary here is that she lets that message of Christmas go from her mind into her heart. And today as I close out this sermon, I want to encourage you as we're going through this Christmas day, as we're going into the new year, maybe you opened your presents already, maybe you didn't. I want to remind you, yes, it is great that we're proclaiming the message of why we have Christmas. But I also want to encourage you, let that message of Christmas captivate your heart today. Father, we come to you today in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you for this Christmas message that we have. God, I pray that for everybody in this room, that this message would not just remain in our minds, God, but that we would let this message that God is here go into our hearts. We thank you for these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching today's message. My name is Ashley, and if this message has made an impact in your life in any way, I'd like to ask you to do a couple of things. First, we want you to like and subscribe to our channel and join us right here every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. or 11.30 a.m. The next thing I'm gonna ask you to do is take a next step on your journey, and we would love to help you do that. You can head on over to FamilyChurchNY.com or email us at team at FamilyChurchNY.com to get started today.